I'm checking to see if my remote is working. I haven't used it for a while. Uh, Sandra from Sanders and Power Wellness. Um, yeah, I've been doing things from my computer or my phone without the remote. This is the first time I filmed in this position since last year. But um, I just wanted to update you. For those of you who are my age, in your mid 50s, who are female, because that's my audience that I'm trying to reach because um, I just feel that that's what makes sense to me at this time in my life because I'm 56. Thanks, Boo. Um, he's just poking me because he usually wants cookies, always wants cookies. What are you doing? Um, but I, the reason I'm making this video is because I went for 10 years without working out and people go, oh my God, you know, because I don't like it. I don't like any, I don't like sweating. I don't like, I just don't like working out at all. But I know it's important that we move and especially, and it started getting to me maybe a couple of years ago that we, we I, just, I need to do something because I felt that if, even if I eat amazingly and I don't gain weight, which was because I know how to eat well and, and maintain, I said, you know, we do have to move. There's going to come a point in my life where it, I just knew it was coming that I was going to have some issues and I just don't want to get to that place. So I'm avoiding it and trying, <laughs> he wants cookies. It's not going to happen right now. Um, so I thought I would film this just to say that I was in um, brushing my teeth this morning and I was, you know, well, actually, yeah, in the morning I do manual and at night I do electric. But so in the morning I'm like this and I go, hey, my arms are looking pretty good. Like, look at this. I don't know if you can see that. But my issue my entire life, especially when I turned 18 for some reason, my hormones were all over the place. And I always felt thick, even though I was never overweight, I felt thick. I felt there was something and I knew, I know now that it was hormonal. And I also ate a lot of dairy at that time because I was living on my own. I moved out when I was 18 and I was, um, just eating whatever I could just to survive at that point. But, um, but I look back and I know that it was dairy that was causing me that because I do have, um, not lactose intolerant, but a, a, a small allergy to dairy because when I eat it now at 56, it just, I don't sleep, I can't breathe. So I know it's a problem. I, it's not going to kill me, but it's not going to help me. So I, I try to avoid it at all costs and I feel so much more energy when I do that. So find what works for you. But I'm just telling you that there are certain things, so I'm spitting on myself or anything. But look at my arms. I mean, I my arms were the biggest issue my entire life. I didn't have issues with really anything else, um, but always I felt my arms were thick. And I noticed, like, hello, look at this. And <laughs> I know it's a it's a huge accomplishment for me because I'm my my upper body strength has never been strong even when i did gymnastics when i was 14 years old i always had issues with the um the it's not parallel bars uneven bars oh my god i'm like a guy i can't even remember and i i mean that because i'm thinking parallel bars but parallel bars are the ones where the guys do but uneven bars with the girls anyway I rambling because um i just want to film this because i want people to understand that i am um processing things at this point. I'm always processing and I'm always being introspective. But when I realized that, I thought there's probably so many women that are have issues with their bodies. We all do in, in some point. I've never had a weight issue, but arms have always been a, a problem. And I've been doing yoga now for just over a year now, consistently, five to seven days a week and mostly six. So I would say six days a week amazing this week I did six um, I'm taking I, I might take a break today but now I may inspire myself to do it again but um, uh, just amazing so 
I just wanted to tell you that it doesn't matter what you do, just do something that you love, something that you're passionate about, but we have to move. And the older we get, the more important it is. And I'm not a runner. I don't like cardio. I don't like sweating. Although yoga makes me sweat, I can do it within a confined space, which I am in. I'm in a very confined space, but I'm getting amazing results. I mean, I, I don't want to show you my stomach, but look, amazing, right? And although I've never, as I said, I've never been overweight, I, my ass is tight, tight, yay. And I feel more energy. I feel, I mean, yoga is for me. It may not be for you, but uh, it has just given me so much and has really helped me. Uh, it's just amazing. So anyway, do what you love, eat well, and... I think that's it for now but um, I'm so grateful to all of you who are supporting me <laughs> I know I say that a lot but I really 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 appreciate it and um, it's great and um, if my dad is watching this I did wish you happy birthday on the day of your birth but I wasn't allowed to do it on Facebook I was told not to so I did not do that <laughs> but I'm telling you now check your messages it's there but I know you haven't opened it so I hope you don't think I didn't wish it but I did um, so anyway happy birthday dad so talk to you everybody soon oh I have my remote so I don't even have to go like this but look at those arms baby yay look at that that's exciting for me I, I cannot tell you because 18, 20, 38, 48, almost 40 years. Is that right? Yeah, 40 years. Oh my God. Okay. Bye. Have a great day. Love to everybody and talk to you soon.